This is the work I'm having to do on my Lippert stabilizer for my fifth wheel trailer. As you can see, things got a little crumpled here. And actually, it ended up folding right in the center sections here. It bent the center sprocket just a little bit here out of alignment. But the worst thing to happen was that the main bracket got bent right in the middle from too much weight. And this is the upgrade I'm doing using some Unistrut. I place the Unistrut across the slide because what actually happens is these stabilizer legs slide back and forth and that's how they auto level themselves. They're not meant to really bear the weight of the trailer and that's kind of what happened. So by sliding these out of the track, there's the track right here. I was able to pound all this out, straighten it out, add this unistrut, added some cross bracing to the unistrut. And then I'll be able to use the same mounting holes and put it right back up onto the trailer. I've got a little work still to do with this one leg. I'm going to reinforce it. I'm going to get to work on that. A little more love, a little more pounding. And I channeled the piece of Unistrut into the parking channel. This is the part that comes up when it, when it closes. So it's going to get in the way of it. But I think it'll strengthen it up and get as many little spot welds as I could. My tip kept getting stuck in between here because this narrowed down when I pounded it in. But all in all, I think this repair is going to hold. I'll get it back together, get it painted up, show you what it looks like. Got to get back together. Got the Unistrut underneath it. This one looks higher. That's part of the sliding mechanism. I'll show you that uh, in a second. Okay. You see how this is protruding past this point right here? Yeah. This whole thing can slide back oh, to that direction. You can see it doing it right now. There it goes. Baby, that retracted really nice. We'll get it installed and make sure it works. I messed up and I made my holes too small. I actually needed the slot length to go the width of the camper. So we're having to remove some metal out of there. Got it in place. Just have to wrap up the wiring here a little bit. And we're good to go. Crank it down, lifted the rig right up off the ground, brought them back up, they seated nicely, then brought them back down again. It's well worth the effort. Thanks for watching.